All right, time for another rant of the guru. So, a couple of things I wanted to do is, uh, so first of all, thank you for those of you who've been leaving comments and also sending me private messages. Uh, I appreciate also your questions, and I hope to address all of them very soon. There's also been some, or one particular idiot that continues to leave rather nasty comments and uh, just to know that this person or his username because he doesn't have the balls to use his real name his username is Harimau Player and he's on YouTube and he continues to leave us pretty nasty remarks about myself and Uncle Willem de Tours. well this goes out to him we really don't care what you have to say and your comments are removed simple as that so you want to go ahead and continue to waste your time we're just going to continue to delete all your comments. We really don't care about what you have to say. Now, that being said, all of you who would like to comment and uh, positively ask questions and also if you'd like to talk about a certain subject, go ahead and leave your comments. If you're disrespectful, I'm just going to simply remove your comments. It's that simple. Now, that being said, a lot of you have also inquired about training long distance. Uh, that is totally okay. And we have... Uh, definitely some students already doing that we have a couple students in Europe there's some students in the United States and um, basically if you want to do that you can go ahead and give me a call 786-752-0052 and you can also send me a private email or a private message at uh, on Facebook uh, or on Instagram or at sdoblis at gmail.com okay and I will send you all the information necessary so that you can begin training online uh, Training online is not a substitute for training in person, but it's a great way to get started. And you can certainly learn a lot once you have some experience. But ultimately, I would recommend highly that at least you come out to train with me uh, as much as you can or have me come to you and I'll come teach you gladly. So anyhow, I hope that's uh, informative. On another subject, I wanted to give some insight for those of you that are still squatting every day. I'm still doing it. This is uh, week 14. We're now finishing up, uh, this Sunday we'll finish week 14 of Monday through Sunday squatting. And a couple things I've done for that, some changes I've made. Um, one of them is <clears throat> I try to alternate the low bar squat with zercher squats. And I'm also doing a lot of squats with uh, a belt, uh, a weighted belt, so belt squats. And that's been really, really nice to take some of the pressure off the back and off the shoulders. Um, I still do high bar squat pretty much five days a week, but I'll give myself a few days off of the high bar squat, or sorry, the low bar squat actually. Um, I give myself some days off of that, like maybe one or two days a week where I won't use the low bar, uh, just to give the shoulders and the back a bit of a rest. But definitely every day I'm still squatting, uh, be it body weight squats, squats with Bulgarian sandbags, kettlebells, uh, like I said, weighted belt squats, zercher squats, and also trap bar deadlift. Um, I find also that, at least this is what's been working for me, I use a four-week uh, program, and what I do is, well, actually it stems over to 12 weeks in total, but what I do is I go one week relatively heavy, second week a little bit less heavy, third week a little bit less heavy and then the fourth week is kind of a deload week where I'm working no more than 70% of a one rep max and I find that that helps the body heal and allows you to recover so that you can go ahead and continue to squat every day without any issue. Anyhow I hope that's informative I'll go ahead and make another video about squatting every day so that you can get some more insight. Take care.